This is Odin's Wolf Survival. I'm out in the great forest of Kansas cutting firewood. Decided to take a break and review the USGI poncho liner and camp shield blanket system. We'll be seeing that here shortly. Been out kind of cutting firewood today. It's a nice day. It's not going to be here shortly. We got fronts coming in, so I decided to take a break from what I was doing. And these are the three pieces from USGI Industries. Camp Shield Blanket, the Rain Poncho, and our Poncho Liner. These are pretty nice. I've reviewed each one of these in a video and I'll put the links below. But we'll see what we got as we put them together because I think it'll make a pretty nice little system, especially for traveling about in a car if you have to. There's the poncho liner. The poncho. And I like how these come with the compression sacks because you can <laughs> make them a lot smaller, which is always a good thing. And these are actually really warm. I've been using Another one here, another one that I do have, I just threw it on the bed. The only thing that will get you <laughs> at night is the cold snaps. But it's made to snap into the poncho. Okay, so we flip the poncho out. And it's a typical poncho. A little lighter than the military version. But it's made out of ripstop material, not the rubberized heavy stuff. And it's got a, it's coated, it feels like a silicone coating of a sort is what it feels like to me. I'm not sure exactly what they use, but it is waterproof. And then typical military poncho type, you have strings that go through the grommets and these grommets on this poncho are set in really nice they're, they're I do believe they're copper grommets that are plated coated kind of like the military version and they're set in pretty good in a double layer sewn in so that is not a bad thing by any way shape or form they should take a bit of abuse And this just ties in to make you a sleeping bag. These just tie in. You can tie them in however you like. A lot of people, if they're just using a poncho liner as a blanket, they'll cut these off. I always thought that was a bad idea because if you ever get to about where you're using it like this. These come in handy. Back when I was crossing the Alps with Hannibal. On the elephants, these were a nice light sleeping bag back, back in the day. The nice thing about this is it ties all the way around. So it does keep it somewhat in place when you're using it. If you tie, if you tie these in knots, you're going to have a lot of fun getting them undone to take it back apart. That's one of those ask me how I know sort of things. Everybody does dumb at one point in time. There we have We have the liner in the poncho. And then this has snaps so you can go down 
What it doesn't do is the bottom's open. The bottom and top's open. But you can snap this shut to make a form of light sleeping bag if you want. However you want to do it. And these snaps are sturdy. And they're set in a double layer. They're set in quite well. And you can go through and tie these down at the bottom. Pull one through and tie it if you wish. Snap it all the way up. And you've got a light bag. Tie that off. You've got a fairly waterproof light bag that you can sleep in and carry easily. It doesn't weigh the seven, seven pounds wind dry down sleeping bag that Hannibal used to issue back when we were on elephant back. Now, they weighed seven pounds when they were dry. They weighed a god awful amount when they got wet. There's been more sleeping bags bought because they, the bags leak, the dry bags leaked. And those things picked up to about 70 pounds. That's where you just cut the strap, walk away and buy a new one. And freeze your butt off for the rest of the rest of the go about. Now, this is the Camp Shield blanket. It's got snaps down both sides. So it'll snap into the poncho instead of tie in. And you can layer it in with the poncho liner and it'll make even a heavier bag adds a little bit more bulk but this isn't going to be a, a hardcore winter bag I would call this more three season and what I like about it is in a no shite in the car even in the winter it'll keep you alive Add a little bit of, add a small candle and stuff like that if you get stuck in the car. But this isn't a bad little system. Okay, there's one side. I can feel it trapping the heat off my legs through my sweats. And this ground is frozen underneath. All right, this is just a touch shorter at the top. And you can come in and snap it shut on the bottom. to make you a decent little bag. Layered up, you have the waterproof outer shell and you have two water resistant inner shells. And if you put something underneath to loft it up off the frozen ground, it'll keep you off the ground because the ground sucks more heat than cold, cold dirt sucks more heat than Cold air. Get a 550 cord, tie the bottom off, however you want to do it. And you're good to go.
With this, you got three layers, keeps the heat in. All you need is a pillow, pack, whatever, and you're good. This is the USGI Camp Shield blanket, which is this, the poncho liner, and the poncho all put together is a light sleeping bag. Like I said, I would call this probably a three season bag. If you had to rely on this in the winter, in a hard winter, I would probably build a shelter over the top of this with a lot of grass and everything else under and over it, just to add insulation. Otherwise it's gonna be a bad day. But I'll put the prices and everything for the three bits and the links to the other videos, the individual reviews. Please like, subscribe, and share. It helps the channel greatly. Thank you for watching, and have a glorious day.